Welcome to part two of White Rose and Peacock Feathers, my octagon um, cradle wood um, that I'll refer to as um, a wooden canvas. Um, I start by um, having part two be preparing the octagon cradle panel for painting and pouring on. Let's go. So I have already taped the inside um, and am ready to tape the next layer of masking tape so that I don't get tape all over the nicely sanded wood. So I'm basically taking the tape and just pushing it against the edges so that this piece right here doesn't end up having paint slide into it. I'm just trying to keep the piece of wood clean. I can always sand off the paint, but it seems like it would be easier if I start off without having any paint. So after I make sure the tape is all pushed very hard against the wood, I'm going to do one more Make sure you push really hard so that the paint can't go in those little crevices. And if you think there may be a chance, just go ahead and take a small piece and go right up where that corner is. Um, and if you actually do this one first and then the top one, it would prevent this. So that's what I'm going to do in the future. I'm going to um, actually do this inner piece and then the top piece and it'll overlap so there won't be any chance of having the paint drip down into the corner if by chance I have the paint um, get underneath with my hands I'm sure there will be paint. So now I'm going to put a piece of paper here and then just tape the piece of paper so I'll give you a pause. So for a long time I saved brown bags. Um, now I just bought this because um, brown bags are harder to get these days. So I'm just going to get this to be where it still allows me to have room to tape. So again, I'm going to give you a pause. watch it so I don't crack the wood since this is thin. All right, and then I made sure it was level when it's off the turntable um, because um, we're gonna take it off the turntable after we spin it and it needs to be level. All right, now part three is coming up. Um, please join us where we layer the cup with the paints and get ready to pour.